Hey there folks, Bobo the Vulture here, and more Let's Play Aerobiz Super Sonic. Let me tell you folks about Precious Roy. No, um... It's just time to continue on. Pressing on regardless, folks. Last year, uh... The year 2008. Um, we successfully entered the Southeast Asian market with a flight going into Singapore. And I gotta say, it went really well. Donald Douglas is gonna stop making the MD-11. Oh no! But they are gonna start, or they have started making the MD-1. Oh yeah, folks. More supersonic transports. Are you ready? Are you ready for them? Oh, we bought the ski resort in Vancouver. Okay, that was the confusion I was having. I hadn't actually purchased it yet. I was just in negotiations. Okay, so our tourism rating before was 44. We got some more slots there. We got some more slots here. Alright, now let's take a look at Vancouver. 44. 56. Nice, right? Tourism increase of 12. So, um... Yeah. That's worth doing, right? I should say so. Alright, now let's go to Southeast Asia. Look at how much we're overcharging these folks for, um... This trip. Yeah. I can just keep on... Cranking up the uh, amount of money that I can charge. Wow, that's profitable route. <sighs> Thinking maybe I should buy another 777 or two and put them on that route. But first, a new plane came out. We gotta go examine this. First of all, this is the plane that's getting ready to be uh, pulled out of production, so... <laughs> that's too bad, because I was actually thinking about buying a couple. For a long-range jet, they're pretty cheap. Actually, they're as cheap as they get for long-range jets. And, uh, they're getting pulled out of service. So nuts. Ooh, look at this sleek little number, though. Hmm. It's fairly similar specs to the uh, Boeing one. Looks like it's got a little bit longer range, though. She won't tell us about it, though, because I don't have money. Um, alright. You looking forward to seeing us again? Oh, with all the Nazi, baby, one more time again. So, you got that. That's pretty efficient. It's got a lot of seats. Then you got this. It's got a lot of seats and it's pretty efficient. Over a smaller set of space. You know what? I think I'm just going to keep going with 777s until I fill up those routes. And if I fill them up and I still need more planes. Wait, no. McDonald Douglas is not where I would go to get more 777s. This is where I would go to get more 777s. Yeah, you see, it's, uh, 300 passengers, 4,060. Oh, okay, yeah, 4,060. So, yeah, except for the fact that this appears to have a, uh, smaller, uh, range. Pretty much the same deal. Yeah, that's really weird. Double the economy, not quite double the seating capacity. And, uh, pretty much half the price, so... Yeah. Seems like the logical choice, 747, 600 as opposed to, or 500 as opposed to the Hyper Jumbo! I mean, the Hyper Jumbo, I'm sure, is just ludicrous when you can put it on a range where it uh, actually, uh, you know, fills up. I'm gonna go get, go, yeah, forget it. I can't even speak correctly, folks. Clearly what I need to do now is... Jump back here. Go to North America. Examine the roots in North America. They're the same as ever. 
Leonard Root is on steep discount. Honolulu is almost profitable now. Toronto is more profitable. Miami still in the tank. Vancouver to LA. That's just ridiculous. I should be able to do so much better there. Vancouver to New York. Not the whole way full. Do I have competition on this route? Yeah, nobody else is flying into uh, Vancouver. Uh, let's see here. Vancouver to Washington. Wait, did I already go that direction? Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Vancouver to Washington. And then Tokyo. That's what I wanted to see. Wow, the Tokyo flights are almost getting full again. When that happens jack up the prices on those. How's our price war in Asia going? I have these planes completely full now. Have they given up on the price war then? No. Nope. But you can see our profit margins are really narrow at this price point. So maybe what I'll do is bump up the fare a little bit. It's okay to change that flight. And then we'll hop over to Rome here and see how things are going in Roma. Yeah, they're undercutting me in price, but that's okay. I'm still selling the number of seats. The number of tickets I want to sell for my little MD-100. I suppose I could always get another MD-100 in there. Put a fair you know, sale price on it. I could, but uh, then again, why? I can hear you asking right now. Wait, no, 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 I didn't want to call a meeting to order. We got non-profitable routes and a non-profitable business venture. Never mind. I don't actually want to talk to you people. Nothing personal, just meeting is adjourned. Aha, uh -huh, nothing personal, just get away from me. <laughs> That's pretty much my attitude right now. I wanted to see how long... Okay, six more months before we get airport slots in Bangkok. How much do I need to have in the bank before that will uh, work? Alright. 286. So, I pretty much... I stand to profit nothing by attempting to uh, buy a plane this quarter. Other than being able to put it on that Bangkok route but then I wouldn't have any money left over to be able to start that route right away. We already have the maximum number of slots. I was afraid of that. You see me over here trembling in fear? That's right, you don't, because this is not a video where you can see me. The London airport has been expanded. And once again, man, I've got nearly double the uh, interregional flights of anybody else, and I'm making our interregional passengers and I'm still making money off of them. I like where this is going. Straight to my hips! No. Oh yeah, look at that money. I like it. It is green. Because, well, no, wait. Uh, no, no. I was going to say we're swimming in dollars, but if we're swimming in Canadian dollars, we're swimming in coins, loonies and toonies. You know, folks... People are always like, uh, you know, we could never convert over to dollar coins, dollar coins. I don't understand that, actually. I mean, so many other countries throughout the world have made their primary currency in coin form because the coins last longer, you save money on having to print them, you can use them in vending machines. Man, honestly, that's a big appeal to me. The uh, idea that pff, it's annoying to me when you have to go to a vending machine or a toll booth. Especially a toll booth, because the toll booths will only take coins. But, uh, anyway. That's neither here nor there, is it? Is it? it, it is, is it here or there? Alright. The sky appears to be the limit for this particular fare, so let's just keep increasing it. Step by step, inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. Okay, um, gonna be six months now before that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and buy one more 777 for right now. 
hopefully. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. We'll get uh, just one. Thank you. And that will start us on our way <coughs> with the Bangkok route. Suppose I could have gotten one of those uh, ultra sexy supersonic MD uh, ones to fly this same route. I almost have enough money. Um, <coughs> sorry, folks. Throat got a little dry there. Um, I'm trying to remember if there is any advantage in the game to doing that. <coughs> I believe one advantage is you don't need as many... I think. I'm not positive. But I don't believe you need as many planes to um, fill all your slots. Like, a supersonic plane will be able to service more, like, airport slots. You don't need... Like, you know, when you put in one... Uh, 777, it, like, gives you two available flights, and then you put in another one, it gives you three. I believe, like, you put in a supersonic plane, it'll give you, like, three and four, or five all at once, or something like that. I guess because it moves faster, and so it doesn't need uh, to stop as often. Or the planes travel faster, so it can do, like, an extra flight a day, or something like that. Possibly. I don't actually know if that's how it's gonna work. But either way... That's what's going on there. Let's check out uh, Europe here. Let's uh, check out how the. Let's see, because I raised the, I raised my prices, and uh, all of a sudden, the uh, airplanes got full again. So they came up to meet my price. So I'm going to go ahead and raise it 10% again. See whether or not I can actually start making that stably profitable. Rome. Okay, these actually are starting to go down a little bit, which leads me to believe, yeah, they're going super cheap. Fine. I'll show you. I'll run away. Yeah, okay. Now I'm undercutting you in price. What are you going to do about it? I got a cheaper plane than you. I have a more efficient plane. I can run more efficient routes. That's right. That's right you're not going to do anything about it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this quarter. Because there's not much else to do this turn. Aussie ordered some MD-100s. Good for Aussie. It is the Aussie philosophy that they should do that. Tunis is the hot spot for tourists. Tourist is the hot spot for Tunis. Hmm, yes. Good, good. Interregional passengers. I'm still selling out that flight. <laughs> it is amusing to me. Am I doing better in North America? Yes, I am. Am I doing better in South America? No, I'm not, because I don't have any flights going there. Oh, yes. I'm almost to the magical $100 million mark for quarterly profits. It is a mark that uh, I treasure. Airbus's A700 had a successful maiden flight. You knew they were going to have to come in with supersonic aircraft. They plan to start production and sales next year. A Airbus's A7? Look at that! They have two supersonics coming in. A720 had a successful maiden flight. They plan to start production and sales of that, too. Oh, the, uh, the EU, or the European Commission, apparently has some special need they want to come talk to us about. We got some slots in Bangkok, though. That's what's important right now. And a 777. How serendipitous. These things happened at the same time. It's almost like I'm planning this stuff out. A representative from EC, Edge and Christian, wants to meet with me. The environmental problems around London, EC, are getting worse. Well, I mean, you know. getting worse than since when? Since the Industrial Revolution? I find that hard to believe. It's imperative to reduce air and noise pollution around the airport. Will you back this project? Let's see. They want 488 million. I have 257 million. Sure, I'll back your project. 
As much as we'd like to help, we just can't afford it at this time. I should use my credit card. I see. I'll go elsewhere then. If you can't get any money out of me, <laughs> good luck going elsewhere. None of the rest of these jokers have money. I mean, they have some money. They don't have the kind of money I do. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to wait another quarter. Anyways, look at this, though. We're still making mad wads of cash off of this. Let's go ahead and raise the fare up to uh, 50%. It's okay to change that flight as shown. It is okay. I may have to consider starting to uh, increase that fare. Wow, that's a lot of money, though, folks. I have hopes that we'll be able to do something similar with Bangkok. I got high hopes, I got high hopes, I got high up high in the sky. Oops. Okay, so, what we've got going on right now are these roots. Let's see how the little price war and uh, what's going on. Okay, so now the planes aren't completely full anymore. Let's see. Huh. Now they're still most of the way full. You know what? I'm willing to accept that. I'm willing to accept that for right now, anyway. And the route in Rome, all the way full. The competition, only half full. Oh, that's gotta hurt you guys. Oh, I'm providing the same sort of service you are. For much less. Well, for slightly less. And at far greater efficiencies. Oh, that's too bad. I feel really bad for you, Medlink. Ho, 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 ho. You know, folks, I bet you can almost tell, but, uh, I don't really feel that bad. Then I don't feel so bad. Hey, oh no, Air Max rejected the request, too. This is booming. Tourists are flocking to Tunis. Let's get these flights going. Let's get them started. Let's get them started. Okay. The only way I'm going to make more money out of that route to Singapore is to throw some more planes on it. That's all there is for it, folks. Uh, almost, almost there, not quite. Just hold on for a few more seconds. Almost a hundred million. Almost a hundred million. Alright, last quarter coming up. Gonna go ahead and open my route to uh, Singapore. Or not Singapore, I already have my route to Singapore. Gonna open up my route to Bangkok. Because I definitely have the money now. Just gonna start with the 1777 for right now. I don't have any. What is the competition here? They have 1777. They have one flight going in a week. But they still managed to get it most of the way full and they managed to charge up the fare big time. I'm gonna use one. And I'm going to offer two flights a week. And I'm going to make the fare the standard fare. And open the route. Dun, dun, dun. Alright. So then. That'll be a new route. It will be uh, not really figure out outable yet. Yeah, okay, so. Yep. Uh, that's pretty. So pretty. You're such a pretty root. You're a pretty root. You're a little pretty root. That is pretty. That is pretty pretty. I'm gonna hang on to that money for right now. Wait till the next quarter. Cause I wanna see. It looks like they've got... It looks like Airbus has two different supersonic transports coming out. I kinda wanna see what the difference is gonna be. Is one of them gonna be like a long haul? And one going to be like a short haul? Is one going to be like super expensive and all statted out? Is one going to be cheap? Oh, if they make like a cheap regional jet supersonic, it might be fun just to buy one for the novelty factor, you know? 
I can always get more slots in Vancouver. How many do I have just lying around, though? I have a lot lying around. Not as many as in London, though. Eh, what the hell. It may eventually prove worthwhile. Negotiations will take three months. And by the time you know it, negotiations will be over. By the time you finish that cookie, you will forget all about all this stuff. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and look at these routes. I don't think there's going to be anything new about them. Well, the route to London is starting to fill up nicely. That's nice. That's nicely, nicely. Uh, Vancouver to Honolulu. Um, still sucks. Vancouver to Toronto. Still kind of sucks. Totally sucks. Nowhere near expectations. Eh, closer to expectations. Actually, not that bad. I don't know why, but Washington, Philly, and the other cities that are also fairly big and fairly it's seemingly important if you look at the stats, they just don't get um, they just don't get sussed out as as, as well as, as New York in this game when you try and go ahead and set up a route through them. It just doesn't work as easy. Uh, let's go ahead and check out those European routes. Alright, the Athens route is full again. Well, the Athens route is full again. I can consider rationing the rate up. Yeah, it's okay to change that route as shown. I don't mind being slightly more expensive than them. My planes are full. Your planes are not. That's okay, though. I'm going to go ahead and continue undercutting you here. Yeah. With the 777s, just because they're not as... I mean, in the sort of modern game terms, um, MD-100s caused virtually nothing to run. So I don't mind running them and not maximizing the profit out of them if I think that I'm forcing... if I'm driving prices down um, for my competitors. I don't mind doing that. Um, but anyhow, uh, I'm going to save the rest of my money because next quarter there's going to be magical supersonic airplanes. You remember how, like, around the year 2010, um, this is probably going to come out in the new year, actually, so Happy New Year, by the way, Happy 2012. But you remember how two years ago, in 2010, um, there were, like, four different types of supersonic airplane. Um, supersonic passenger transports to choose from. If you wanted to fly someplace, you sort of had, you know, you had your choice of going all over the flipping place. It was kind of crazy. Uh, okay. Oh, Metlink is redoubling their efforts in North America, it looks like. Still not beating me or anything, but... Oh, so close! Ah, so near 100 million. But not there. Just not, not yet. Uh... It's okay. It's okay. We'll make it. We're gonna make it after all. Okay. But yeah, folks, uh, that was the year 2009. I think it was a very good year. Hopefully it was a very good year to watch. I feel like I'm sort of uh, burning through the turns here, but um, maybe I'm not. Maybe it just feels that way because there's so much excitement. I think there's excitement going on here, folks. You can disagree if you want, but, um... Yeah, this is good times, right? Uh, so, yeah, folks. Uh, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Aerobiz Supersonic Scenario 4. Running out of Vancouver. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll check out the year 2010. Which, actually, I think is like, yeah, that's the halfway point for the scenario, isn't it? I forget. Either way... We are counting down the years. We got all the fancy planes pretty much coming out. We got two supersonic crafts coming out next year. I gotta go check them out, folks. You gotta check them out, too. And you'll get the chance next time. Bye now.